Hey, Jane LaFazio here. I'm sitting out in my back patio where my husband and I spent a couple of mornings drawing and painting in watercolor. And we drew the flowers that are growing on our patio. And then I made a really cool wreath from those flowers. And I want to show you. <laughs> Usually we'd have breakfast and then go out often in our pajamas and a cup of coffee and draw for an hour or so in the mornings when it was cooler. We're both drawing straight to ink, so no pencil drawing first. So it's quick and loose and fun. It was a really fun project to do with my husband in the mornings. We both enjoyed it so much. Even though I'm drawing loosely, I'm still studying the flower closely and drawing each petal as I see it. After I've drawn the flower or leaves, then I immediately paint it with watercolor. And again, I'm painting very loosely, very wet, letting the colors run together. Each morning, after about an hour or so, I've been able to complete one page of flowers and plants. After we'd drawn enough flowers and plants, I took them into my studio and cut them out with sharp scissors. I cut out each drawing, leaving just a little bit of white around the edge. I happen to have a piece of 12 inch square watercolor paper, about 140 pound watercolor paper. So I began arranging the flowers in a wreath shape on that square of watercolor paper. Once I had them arranged, I used the glue stick to glue them down on top of each other. I knew the glue stick wasn't gonna hold all these little skinny parts together. So I took it to my sewing machine and stitched free motion stitching in just a few spots to hold the flowers and leaves down to that backing paper. This is the back of my wreath on that 12 inch square paper. You can see I didn't do very much stitching with my sewing machine, just a few places to tack it down. If you look closely, you can see a little bit of stitching on that succulent. I used red thread. You can use your sewing machine and any needle and it works fine. Just have a long stitch. After I cut around the outside edge of my wreath and also the inside edge with, just with scissors, then I got an X-Acto knife and started cutting in between some of the flowers. Not all of them, but some of them. I think this is a great project to do with the members of your household, your kids, whoever's there. Everybody can draw flowers, everybody can cut them out, and you can glue them into a lovely wreath. You can see the wreath is quite sturdy. It's two and three layers of watercolor paper glued and stitched together, but it holds together well. 